We're pleased to be joined by Dr. Geraldine Oedesesi, who is uh, project director with, uh, or excuse me, director of Project Combat, which is? Um, children Overcoming Military Base Adversities Together. So talk about that. By the way, we're here at the Healthcare Foundation in New Jersey doing a series of interviews dealing with services to our veterans. What are the issues that these children are facing? Um, a lot of mental health issues like anxiety, depression, um, being that the military member is away or reintegrating back to the home. And so what Project Combat is trying to do is to educate the community, particularly the school districts that have teachers, psychologists, social workers, um, and nurses about military culture, what these children and families experience, and how to help them. I think it's very important that the community um, help these families. Um, that's not related to the military, you know, uh, themselves, but just a community um, outreach um, to support these Schools families. Schools need help in that regard. Yes. I mean, they're, they're not set up, per se, to deal with these issues, to understand these issues, and that's why organizations like yours are so important. Yes. How do you correct. engage them? Describe it. Um, first of all, we ask everyone to stand up who has a related family member who's part of the military or friends, and almost 99% of people stand up. So everyone knows someone in the military, but they don't know what they're going through when they serve, when they're deployed, when they're reintegrated with the families. And so this is an opportunity to increase that awareness, um, to be able to be that support system. Because I think together, that's why mm. together is an important Talk part. about that, because so, so much of the conversation we had today here at the Healthcare Foundation was with a group of 12 experts. You were one of them to talk about collaboration, partnership, coming together. Why is it so important that people just don't simply say, well, this is what I do, that's what you do. We do things separately. Why doesn't that work? Um, well, primarily because um, being separate, and I think that's what happens even in academia or in the hospital, that we silos. do work in silos, exactly. And not knowing what each other does, you know, it could be more well integrated, the services, instead of separate. And there could be more um, focus and more expertise in a particular area instead of being so broad, um, you know, these services. So plus, what, excuse me for interrupting, Doctor, but what veterans need very often is multifaceted. Yes. They're in different areas, so knowing who else is doing what and the ability to refer or connect right. is critical. Exactly, and you could, that partnership and collaboration, then you could help the military member, the veterans and their families holistically with um, a wide range of social services, job um, employment, to mental health services, and also support systems for the family. Why is it so difficult? I've asked several of your colleagues this question. I'll ask you, why is it so difficult to get certain veterans, men mm -hmm. and women, to reach out for help? Number one, it's the culture that if you do reach out for help, it's a sign of weakness. Unlike in psychology, one, one of the things that I say, if you're reaching out, that means you're a very strong person. As very opposed to weak. How, 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 that sounds counter to, counterintuitive to some. You reach okay. out, you're strong. Right. Wait a minute, no, you're weak because you're saying you need help. But I, I agree okay. with you, you are strong because? Exactly, self-esteem, right? Are you you know, worthy of that help? That's where it's coming from. So if you feel like you're worthy of help, that's a high self-esteem and you mm -hmm. go seek it. Often, I don't wanna stay like this. Right, I wanna move forward. I wanna problem solve, see what my issues are and move forward and also you know, get that job, help my family move forward. And for veterans, that sense of I appear Weak, I'm coming across as weak, is even, it's exacerbated? Yes, because the culture itself, um, that's communicated. So a lot of the veterans, if you speak to them, they'll say that, well, I hesitate to reach out for services because what does that mean for my family? What does it mean for my career? You know, I'm gonna look weak, I'm supposed to be strong, that's why. Self sufficient. I'm, right, self sufficient. But here's the thing communicating that what they're experiencing is normal. So any trauma that they experience during their service, that's normal, it's not a sign of weakness. And mm. I don't know where they, well, the military culture 
you know, gives you that perception, but that's the human body and the brain reacting to your experience. And it's norm you have to normalize it. And I think that's a secret to helping. What advice would you have for veterans watching right now? If you're strong, uh, you know, you should reach. Or you want to be strong. You want to be strong. You want to move forward. You're resilient. You've already experienced all of these, um, you know, experience in the military. You have those skills. Um, and you just have to reach out to move forward with your life. Why there are people that want to help. Speaking of those people, finally, you're one of them. Why do you do what you do? Um, my nephew is the reserves. He's actually going through military training. He went through Afghanistan and it was painful. Even though I was his aunt, be him being away and not knowing whether he's gonna come back or not, or whether he's not gonna come back injured, was very painful for me. So every week I sent him a package. That's for me to cope and lit a candle for him for me to cope because I was afraid of what the outcomes will be in this service. You're helping a lot of people every day. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Agnes Veris NJTV studio at Two Gateway. Funding has been provided by Summit Medical Group, Delta Dental of New Jersey, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, the New Jersey Reentry Corporation, New Jersey Sharing Network, Community Food Bank of New Jersey, and by NJM Insurance Group.